Hi, this is Yuli again. Thank you so much for subscribing on my channel. I'm sorry, it's, it's been a while since I make another video. And to those who subscribe, new subscribers to my channel, thank you so much. And thank you for listening and watching my video. Um, today, I want to talk about if you plan to move to the Philippines or retire in the Philippines when you are married to a Filipina or not married to a Filipina. Okay, this is this advice that I'm going to give though, the tips that I'm going to give today, this is only based on my thoughts and based on my observation and it's based on what I know. It's not necessarily true. You have to research about this and look it up and find out yourself. But on base what I know, if you're married to a Filipina, there's advantage of that which is some is good, some is not. <laughs> okay, so if you are planning to retire in the Philippines and you're married to a Filipino woman, actually, it's the only advantage that I've known is um, you can buy a land there, but it's on her name. And you can own a business, but in her own name um the only good thing i think about that the advantage of be being married to filipina if you want to decide to you know live in the philippines is you can stay in the philippines for one year without paying for your visa i mean for free so you can just like live there for one year and go on vacation in other country and come back again for once a year so you're basically living in the philippines for free in within one year if you're married to a filipino woman um if you're not married to any of the asian uh filipina that means you have to pay every month after your one i think it's after your one month um pre visa so you have to extend your visa every month okay and then um if you decided to um buy a land in the philippines for me it's not a good idea because you don't you cannot own a land in the philippines you cannot own a house in the philippines you cannot own a business in the philippines you can only own a business but you have to have a partners like corporation with filipino person business partner if you decided to have a business any business and um if you buy a land it should be under the name of your wife or under the name of your girlfriend from the philippines it's not gonna be your name and that's not good because if this you know they got is off of you they can kick you out of the street just like that so i suggested no it's better to just rent the place because i think it's not smart I mean, it's just for me. I, I don't trust it. I mean, um, it's your own money. You work for it. You work hard for it. And then just Filipina will own your house, will own your land, will own your business. So that's very terrible. So I suggested never, ever buy a land or businesses in the Philippines. I think you can buy a condo and based on what I know. And in your name i think because it's that's not like individual you know it's not private it's it's condos is you know so um and also if you decided to like live in the philippines and for example you have a license here in your country i think there's a minimum of staying in the philippines that you can still use your license but after i'm not so sure i think it was one year or six months and you have to um convert your license into philippine license so so you can be able to drive around philippines that's just based on what i know i don't know maybe it changed already now but it's like means like a year or two years ago um and third time there's no divorce in the philippines it's gonna be called annulment which is you have to pay at least 200 
50,000 or 150,000 peso, which is 300 bucks, I think. Yeah. So it's very expensive. So if you decided to marry the Filipina, I suggested don't marry in the Philippines. Just marry in your country. So if, if ever she get, if she's not good at all, just divorce her in your country and you don't have to worry about the annulment in the Philippines. Because if you married her in your country, the divorce is just like that. But if you married her in your country and you report your marriage to her own country, that means you have to file twice. So yeah, just the based on what I know, but I'm I'm pretty sure about it, but you have to research about this too. Um, and also, mm, what was I was thinking? Uh, yeah, you can own any property in the Philippines if you're a foreigner. And also, if you are a um, foreigner and I'm researching about this, I think in my country, Philippines, there's no possible way to be a citizen there if you're not born as a Filipino. So if you're a foreign man or foreign person, you cannot live there or you cannot be a citizen in the Philippines. It's not allowed. Yeah, so that's crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just the truth. And um, if you're married to a Filipina and you, for example, you decided, oh, let's go, I'm just gonna retire in the Philippines and buy the house in the name of my, um, the name is for in my wife's names, whatever like that. I think I suggest you to um, live far, far away from the um, family of your wife. <laughs> because I think um, I just heard a lot of horror story about it and our neighbors is the same way. They will just in your house. The family of your wife will be in your house every day, almost. Every day. I mean, <laughs> literally, um, every day. Um, it's not private. I mean, if I live in the, if if ever like I, because I'm thinking about like bringing my husbands in Asia and live there for, you know, retire there. I want to live somewhere far, far away from my um, family because I don't want them always in my house. Sometimes you want to have your time. I mean, but these people don't understand that. I mean, sometimes they're like, oh, they're already in your door. And they're like, hey, um, what's for breakfast here? Do you have anything here? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and you cannot say just like, get the fuck out of my house because that's your wife's family, right? I don't know. It's just for me, I don't, I like privacy. I don't like um, disturbance. <laughs> um so it's kind of like if i want to see my family and then i'll text them and then tell them to come over but if i am not ready to see them i don't want them in my house i don't want them to just knock in my door or disturb me so that's it and and it's not only that it will be disaster because they're gonna be like asking begging for something whatever um yeah it's really not good and um, if you ask me what part of um, Philippines that you should live to have, you know, peaceful atmosphere, I think I just suggested, um, I would suggest somewhere province of Cebu or province of Mindanao. I will choose some safe place though. Do not go somewhere like not safe. Where I'm from is really, really dangerous. Um, I was thinking about the Polo City, but I mean, Polo City is still scary. Um, but yeah, um, choose wisely. Like, it's better to live in a province, and you have if you have a car. It's crazy to drive in the Philippines, but if you have a car, you can go to the city once a week or something like that and have a blast and then go back to the peaceful and also same time cheaper 
because if you live in a city, it's very expensive. Very, very expensive. So, you guys, if you have any questions about this video, shoot me an email or give me a message on Facebook on my page. It's what I mentioned right now, though. It's only based on what I know. Uh, probably there's more, but I just can't think about it right now. It's just too many stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really sad, but... If you're from other country, you cannot own a house, a property in the Philippines. And um, also, um, so many people is asking me questions about if it's expensive to buy a gadgets in the Philippines. Yes, it is. Because Philippine people is mostly materialistic. So every time there's a new phone, new laptop, new brand, they're all over it. So it's very, very expensive. iPhone, Samsung, everything, gadget that has branded. Gadgets branded. I mean, every brand that, um, uh, well-known brand, it's very expensive in the Philippines. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I really want to talk more about stuff, like about Philippines, you know, where exactly is safe place in the philippines what, what part of the philippines will be good to live in i mean it really depends on where you are exact uh, no i mean i'm sorry about that um it depends on what type of life you want because if you like the type of li life that you want is like um there's ocean there's mountains, of course, but it depends because some people would like to live in the city and hang out in a bar or um, have some gym, um, work out place and stuff like that. So that is, you need to choose like very close to the city, like within a few minutes away. But if you like a very peaceful life, like there's oceans and just a little cabin, and just has a peaceful like you know um yard then go in the province so you guys if you have any questions and thank you so much for subscribing in my channel this is a short video i just mentioned these you know few stuff that you need to do um if you have a questions on uh how you're going to convert your license into um license in the philippines well as thing to talk about um i mean like for example if if you are married to a filipina i'm pretty sure if you went to the philippines they will uh, ask you if you're married to your wife blah 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 and then they will stamp your passport and say hey you're free to live here for one year and then that's it you don't have to show anything the only thing that you have to show is her green card or her uh, or both of your marriage certificate and stuff and it's pretty 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 nice i mean um that's why i like to live in the uh, philippines with my husband because he doesn't have to um pay every month a visa which is very expensive maybe it's two twenty dollars or thirty dollars i don't know but that's very expensive i mean if you're free for one year i'd rather just go somewhere else like Cambodia or Vietnam once a year and then come back to my country and you're free one years again. So that's pretty good. So thank you so much guys and have a great day and um, I'm going to make another video of some stuff that we should talk about and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I just want to really mention about those and um, we'll see you next time. This is Yuli.